They say we got no, 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 no future at all They wanna keep, keep, keep us out, can't hold us down anymore We gonna ride, ride Hello guys, welcome to my channel So today I created this full look um, Using a lot of new products uh, The main star of the show for the eyes Was the new Tar Tardis Pro Remix eyeshadow palette this is not the newest one from the brand but it's i um i think this was like the holiday collection i bought it for like 50 percent off at ulta and i think it was such a good deal because of the way that the eyeshadows perform if you guys want to continue watching the video we're gonna start but before before i just want to thank you for clicking on this video and please subscribe to the channel comment down below what you like and also um, don't forget to share with your friends and that's it okay now we can start I am going to start by applying the master prime by face studio this is a Maybelline New York product So we're going to get just a tiny bit. And this one is too blur. Yeah. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit and I am going to apply it on the areas where I want to uh, blur my pores. which is basically my nose area and um, this area right here. Then after that, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W4. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it in the back of my hand. And then I'm going to apply it to my face with a brush. I know that this foundation looks very light on camera, but in person, it looks way better. Then I am going to be setting my under eye area using this RC Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. I will be setting the rest of my face only using this color right here. This is my first time using this eyeshadow palette and I am really not liking the way it looks right here. So I'm going to try to see what can I do so that I can fix it so that it doesn't look so white. I'm going to see what other, um, with this same powder, with the tan color, maybe I can just like fix it and put something else to, so that it doesn't look so white. To contour my face, I use this face powder by the brand BH Cosmetics. Um, I don't know if it's like the right shade. Um, actually, I bought this product to set my foundation, but it was a little too dark. 
<laughs> and so I decided, well, why not? I should just use it for uh, contouring. And this is how it looks. I think it looks a little too dark, but I'm willing to work with it. So let's just continue uh, putting on more stuff. Um, I am going to be using the blush that comes in the same palette. I'm going to try to mix it with another color to make it like lighter. And then, um, well, you guys see, will see right now how it turns out. I will be using this brush by the brand BH Cosmetics. And I am just going to grab a tiny bit. Very little, very little, because I don't want it to be like super strong. And then I'm just going to continue blending, blending everything so that everything looks um, like melted in my face. Okay, girl, so the next step is going to be banana powder. I am going to be using this one by the brand Wet n Wild. And I am going to apply a generous amount because I will be working today with a new eyeshadow palette that I really don't know how it performs. So I don't want to risk anything. So let's just, to prevent anything from going wrong, let's just apply a generous amount of banana powder. So these are the two new eyeshadow palettes, new to my channel, of course. I know that they're not new. They've been out for a long time, especially this one. But um, I recently went to Ulta and they were having a lot of sales. Like, I think I got both of these for like 50% off. And I really like this one because of all of the colorful shades that it has inside and this is how it looks but I noticed that it doesn't have a lot of um matte shades besides three I think it only has like three of them and it doesn't have like transition shades and stuff like that so that's why I am also going to be using this eyeshadow palette. That way it can help me with the transition colors at, at least. <laughs> it still has the paper on the top. I haven't even taken it off. This is how this eyeshadow looks. As you guys can see it has a lot of colorful shades but it doesn't have a lot of um, matte colors transition colors so for that reason is that I purchased the other one um, because it has like warm tones that I can use to for setting for transitioning and yeah and this is a Tarlet toasted this one as you guys can see i already used it i used it twice already i couldn't resist because this eyeshadow palette uh was very popular when the 
Urban Decay heat palette came out. So, yeah, that's another reason why I purchased it. <laughs> So we're going to start with the shade Mixed Media and that one is going to be my transition shade. This is the uh, from the TARDIS um, eyeshadow palette. This shade is uh, very light. It's a good shade for, I want to say, like, to set the the concealer on my eyelid. I'm thinking that for sure I'm going to need to use the other eyeshadow palette for um, a warmer, probably. Um, transition shade so I am going to use this one and I am going to use the shade in the color cashmere Can you guys see the difference between this eye and this other eye? How uh, much more warmer this um, side looks compared to this one. So far, I'm really liking these two shades. I think that just like that, the eyeshadows like that, I will wear them like every day just for something really quick to go to work. The, the colors are warm. You can see them, but um, it also looks like, you know, you try, you try to, to look presentable to go to work. <laughs> Next, I want to use the golden yellow eyeshadow in this palette. The name of the eyeshadow is Outside the Lines. I'm going to put it just like that on its own. But if it doesn't perform like super bright, then I will uh, use a setting mist or setting spray to make it look like much more brighter. I don't know if you guys can see it. In person, it, in person, in person, it looks, it looks okay. Like in person, it doesn't look like I need to use um, setting spray to make it look like more like baba boom. But um, I don't know for if for the camera is like making justice of how the color looks. I think I need to apply more and then continue working from there. Then I am going to apply a copper eyeshadow. The name of the eyeshadow is Mic Drop. And this is how it looks. And that's going to be the next shade.
and the next eyeshadow i will be using is a burgundy eyeshadow color and the name of the eyeshadow is graffiti i am going to be using this um what is it it's a bh cosmetics number eight brush uh it's a little stained i already washed it <laughs> it's a little stained by a blue pigment i used um but i already uh tried it on my on my arm and it's not transferring any color so so i'm just letting you know that i i washed my brush and my brush is clean it's just that it got stained <laughs> and i'm going to apply that last color here on the end trying to be careful okay girl so for the next step i am going to apply this black eyeliner this is by the brand physicians formula and then i am just gonna set it with the black eyeshadow that comes on the palette the name of the eyeshadow is ink and then after that i am also going to apply my mascara i am also going to try to use this new mascara for my under eye lashes I have never tried it this is the first time um, that I'm gonna use it so let's continue <laughs> so what I like to do because I am NOT a pro at applying eyeliner uh, what I like to do is that I like to apply just a uh, regular um, this is a gel eyeliner although this one even though I just had it for a little bit of time like I feel that it's not sliding on on my lid as soft as it used to now um I have to like I had to like warm it up a little bit on my wrist so like I said um I am going to apply some and then I am going to set it with the eyeshadow ink although you really don't need to set it because like I already applied it on this side and it already dried out but still just like to fix anything if i make any mistakes then i will um do that so girls the reason why i do this is not because i am aiming for a cat eyeliner that's not the reason why I do it because I want my eye to look like a different shape. I want to lift it up a little bit more. And also I feel that it helps my natural eyelashes to look like more fuller. I don't really like to wear false eyelashes. So, so I feel that this help, helps a lot. For mascara, I will be using the Wonder Beauty Un Unlashed Volume and Curled Mascara. This one right here. For the bottom of my eyes, I will be using a green eyeshadow by the name Color Explosion. And I am going to be using a BH Cosmetics brush.
For highlighter, I am going to be using this one by Physicians Formula in the shade Champagne. And I will be applying it with this BH Cosmetics brush. This is brush number four. So... It's a beautiful color oh my god I hope that you guys can see how much it shines oh, I have a little I use this brush to remove the the uh, banana powder but it sheds I oh, I love it because it's very soft but I don't like how it's always like leaving a little bit of um, hair behind Okay, so after that, I am also going to be using the Lip Candy Auto Lip Liner by the brand Joa. So, I didn't know that this brand is made by the brand Kiss. Kiss is the, the line that makes those um, nails to make the acrylic nails. But I was reading the back of the packaging and right there it says, by the brand Kiss, so I think it's pretty cool that they came up with now a cosmetic a cosmetic line. I think this is the first time that they do it. I may be wrong. I might be wrong, but um, this is the first time that I see cosmetics by the brand case and on top of that i am also going to use this liquid catsuit by the brand wet and wild i hate that when i apply uh lipstick instead of moving the one i always do this i move my head am i the only one that does that <laughs> it's so annoying because i always catch myself doing that and it's <laughs> like girl <laughs> but i cannot stop <laughs> So that's that. To set up the look, I will be using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3 in 1 Primer Water. So this is it guys i hope you guys love the final results i hope that you guys had a good time and if you guys did please subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a like and also comment down below whether you like it what did you like the most and that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye